In patch 15.5, as per usual, BSG added a lot of new things slash features to the game that they did not mention in the patch notes. Today we're going to be taking a look at them, so no more talking, let's jump into it. First thing we're going to be talking about is the new flea market feature. If you guys right click on any item that you want to sell, you can go ahead right here and click on add offer 0 out of 6. And this is going to be basically a quick sell menu for the flea market. And this is mostly used while you're loading into a raid and you've got some extra time. So you pull up this menu right here. If you just want to list it for the minimum, you just click that. It automatically puts the price in for you and you hit place offer. If we go ahead and look at the lion, that's pretty close to what it is. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky or a little bit bugged out, but for the most part, it works pretty good. The next thing that I have to show you guys is a change to reserve that literally I've seen nobody talking about. Somebody put this down in the comments of one of my recent videos and I had no idea about this. So I went to go check it out for myself and they were right. So I'm going to run over there real quick and then we'll talk about it. Here we are over at drop room building and we're going to be heading in through this underground door that's back behind the building. And essentially there is a new door that is open down here. So previously when you came through this hole in the wall, the only way to get down into the D2 area was to go down right here. But if we go down this hallway and take a right, this door is now open. This door previously was closed. You could not open it. You could not interact with it. You could not do anything. So now you can get down into the D2 area or the underground area. A different way if you guys spend a lot of time in drop room building like I do you'll know that this is huge and a game changer as far as rotations and stuff like that goes there have been many times where I came down here to loot these two rooms and ended up getting stuck down here by somebody camping me over on this side and you know at that point there's really nothing you can do so that is a huge change that I don't see a lot of people talking about all for sake dude the next change we're going to talk about is over on woods and of course we get the foggiest f raid of all time but i have a whole video covering all of the changes that i've personally found on woods but just to give you guys a quick recap the main attraction is going to be the new bunker i'll throw a map up on the screen right now so those of you who aren't aware of where it is you will be able to see it but in this video we will walk through the bunker really quickly So here it is. This is the entrance to the new bunker. Sniper Rock is just on the other side of this rock. You can kind of see the tip of it right there. And we'll go ahead and go down and I will show you guys a quick little walkthrough of it because the loot in here actually is not too bad. I do plan on making a video of running this bunker a few times just to see how much money we can make by doing it. But if we do a quick little walkthrough here, you got loot that spawns in here, duffel bags, bunch of different weapon crates, stuff like that. I've seen some pretty good stuff on this desk right here. As you can see, a duffel bag. Check all of these shelves as well. Weapon crate right there. Shelves right here. Also, toolbox. You got some more stuff in here. Check the shelves again. A box right there. And then this marked circle on the ground can spawn really, really good stuff. I've seen bitcoins, keys, all kinds of different items. So be sure to check that as well. But yeah, this new bunker on woods is pretty sweet. I highly recommend you guys go check it out. Maybe you'll be able to make some good money or maybe you'll find something crazy in the marked circle. But yeah, again, I have a whole video on all of the changes to woods that I have personally found. So feel free to go check that out. The next thing we got to talk about is, of course, labs. As you guys know, we got a huge zombie event going on right now. Some of you are kind of over it. Some of you still love it. However, with the new zombie event, we got a new area on labs. And again, I have a whole video covering all of this. But for those of you who are unaware, it is over here by Blue Room. Blue Room is right there. We'll do a quick little run through of this area and I will show you guys what is in it. So basically, you got a little area right here, really good ammo spawns right there, weapon spawns right there. A spear can spawn on that shelf, so keep that in mind. Over here, you've got the power switch, so you hit that and it opens up this whole back area over here. And then you've got all of this really good stems and stuff can spawn on the table. But the key thing here is a key card spawns on the tables or certain areas. It is called the Terra Group Labs Residential Unit Key Card. And over here is where you use that. From my understanding, that key card is a 100% spawn rate. So you can grab it every time you come in here. And then this is where you use it. You swipe it right here. You need this key for a couple of quests. And also there's just really good loot in this room. As you can see, we're in an offline and there is a blue folder right there. 
check the bed check the desk check on top of this bed on this bed all over the floor i mean this room has spawned some really good stuff as far as i have seen i've only looted it once and i think the best thing i got was a couple of eggs a roller and a lion so nothing too crazy for me personally but I've only hit it once but yeah that is the new area on labs there are also these new exploding barrels whatever you want to call them on labs as well so if you shoot them they explode like that i don't know if these are going to stay after the zombie event but that is a new thing there's also another new exploding object that i'm sure a lot of people don't really know about maybe you guys have seen some tiktoks or some shorts about them maybe you've seen some memes of them but if you weren't aware the fire hydrants now explode when you shoot them so uh yeah that's interesting and i was not expecting that when i saw it for the first time now there is one more change to labs again this is one that a lot of you probably don't know about maybe you do but if you've played the event a lot i'd be willing to bet that you do know about it but this is a pretty cool change i think it's really interesting and really neat that they decided to do it but previously these doorways to get into the dark offices you had to shoot out the glass to walk in them now the doors open automatically isn't that neat not much else to say about that all of the doors that were like this previously they all open i'll show you guys a couple more so you got this dark office up here boom that door opens that door opens you've got this dark office over here this door opens this door opens pretty cool And then if we run over to the kitchen area, we've got one right here. And then we've got another one over here. Sick, dude. And that's it. Those are all of the changes to Tarkov in patch 15.5 that they did not mention that I am aware of right now. If I missed something, please be sure to leave it down in the comments and I will definitely check it out. Shout out to AVRR6792 for leaving this comment about the door being open on reserve. I think I eventually would have found it, but I definitely wouldn't have found it as soon as I did without him leaving that comment. So shout out to you. Also, I think that's one thing that a lot of people really didn't know about either. And if you did, then you're just a reserve god. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.